I'll just say I'll just say one so it's clean, and then we can try as a group. We can do a couple. Sure. <laughs> I don't know. I could do a couple takes. Get you on the station ID. Um, hello. Uh, are Howdy. we are we on? We're good. We're all good. We're good. Yep. Okay. Hello. Howdy. Welcome to welcome to KDBS. Thank you for coming down here. Thanks for having us. It's yeah. great. Yes. Would you uh, be able to say our our station ID? Yeah. Uh, well, we're this is the snares, and this is KDBS Davis. Wonderful. Bam. Um, uh, yeah. Where? Um, so you guys are snares, of course. Uh, where are you guys from? Uh, Sacramento, California. Yes. And then also, uh, if we can go left to right on um, uh, band role and band uh, band name. Or sorry, band role and uh, and name. Uh, my name is Izzy Gomez, and I play guitar and sing uh, for the snares. I'm Lucas Brody, and I play drums. For the snares. I'm also Lucas Brody. <laughs> I'm Julian Paz. I play bass for the snares. I'm Casey Smith. I play organ and sing. Splendid. Um, how'd you guys? Uh, how'd you guys all meet each other? <clears throat> so, I uh, yeah, <laughs> Craigslist. No. Um, funny enough, during the pandemic, I moved up here to Sacramento. I was living in a small town called Tracy. Mm. And uh, when I first started working here, I got a job at Guitar Center. And uh, Lucas was kind of my, my lead. He was, I was an instructor giving kids guitar lessons. And um, he, he made my itinerary and everything for me. So from there on, we kind of just started <clears throat> jamming. Because um, I was playing a lot through Midtown. And then, yeah, it was, it was uh, after that, we had a couple of, People come in and out of the band and stuff, and we met Casey, and she started singing and playing organ, and then um, Julian was in, in an awesome band called Demon Wrangler, still is, and uh, yeah, he's just been like, uh, he's just kind of the session musician all around it was, town. It was awesome. <laughs> it, was, it was really cool. It was really cool because I had seen the snares before I joined, and I was like freaking out, telling all my friends, like, dude. You guys have to go check out the snare for the sickest band. So yeah, I, I got a uh, you know I, I bumped into these guys a few times in Midtown, and then uh, yeah, I got asked to to play a show with them, and was uh, thrilled obviously. So uh, yeah, it uh, we all came together uh, pretty naturally. It was fun. I so. too was stoked to be asked to be in the snares <laughs> because I would go to their shows and be like, why aren't I singing in this band? And so yeah. it finally happened. <laughs> yeah, yeah. Thank you for that. Um, what would you say uh, your biggest non non musical influences are? Sorry, not non non musical. What are your biggest non musical influences? Would you say, and where would it, where does it uh, show up in your sound? Oh man, that's a non great question. Um, I would say like just like uh, authenticity, like expressing yourself, uh, being yourself. I think that stems a lot through like my passion in music is like doing that exactly. So, yeah. I was going to go with, like, Quentin Tarantino and Michael Bay. Oh, yeah. <laughs> Not really Michael Bay, but just, like, explosions and, like, people doing outlandish things. And that's that's what my drumming style is like, so I bring that to the snares, I feel like. That's a joke. But. <laughs> <laughs> Quentin Tarantino. Is it? Yeah. Is it? Yeah. <laughs> what about you? <clears throat> Uh, yeah, it was, film's a good one. Like, that's that's a really good one. But if I weren't going to go with films, I'd say, I don't know, I'm, a, I'm kind of a dork for, like, uh, like I like rally cars a lot. Mm. Just fucking really fast and uh, do it in the dirt, you know? Like, <laughs> Subarus all the way, baby. <laughs> <laughs> fucking that and I don't know. Yeah, I love films and stuff like that. And yeah. it's kind of hard when you play so much music. It's like, what do I what yeah, other things do I like totally. cooking? I mean, I'm fat as hell, so I love food. So, <laughs> <laughs> Good deal. yeah. yeah. Oh, man, what about you, sure. Julian? Um, as far as the snares go, just like uh, influence outside of music, I it's it's a very energetic band. It's fun. It's loud. So, um, I don't know. I would say like there was a time where I was um, playing music in San Francisco a lot, and uh, there was a lot of bars and stuff. So just like kind of a rowdy party bar type of vibe, uh, very energetic and. Um, yeah, so I don't know. That's kind of a weird influence, but I feel like it definitely, you know, uh, plays into the music at least when when I'm playing it. So, yeah. Yeah, thank you for that. Um, 
I was gonna say, speaking, I was, I was, I heard explosion, then I was like, oh, I'm, I'm remembering what was happening during the uh, performance. Would you be able to describe the listeners uh, with the? With the, the whole last song, what, what happened? Absolutely. There was somewhat of an explosion. Uh, <laughs> our amp had a, had, you know, had a malfunction, we'll call it. it had, had a mental breakdown. <laughs> <laughs> a burnout, really. Burnout. Yeah, it's yeah. Done. So that's it, yeah. Towards the end of the set, you know, it might be in the video, but uh, yeah, there's a little, <laughs> there's a little meltdown. Yeah. Yeah. Fire marshals almost got called. No. <laughs> yeah. <laughs> yeah. No, yeah, thank you for that. Um... I was also going to ask about, um, you play a 12 string, right? I mean, I don't know about right, but yeah, you, you, the 12 string, how did you, how did you come across that? Uh, why, uh, what was your, what was your inspiration to, um, include that within, uh, within, uh, the snares? Um, if you listen to a lot of garage rock music, especially modern stuff, um, it's no secret, like, I'm a huge, uh, John Dwyer fanboy, anything he does is, like, to me, it's kind of just on the cutting edge. Um, but even just, like, you know, bands from back in the day, I mean, like, Kids With Drugs is, like, a song that's a direct, straight ripoff uh, from, like, The Kinks. So, like, you can hear 12 strings and that, and, like, bands like The Shadows, they used a lot of, like, Burns guitars. And, um, yeah, just, like, a lot of 60s rock and roll um, and psych rock and <clears throat> just, yeah, a lot of stuff like that. But definitely, like, that specific guitar, I remember seeing him play that in like 2014 and uh i was just like holy shit i need i want one of those <laughs> he's got a vintage one i got like that's a reissue and um but it's still fucking rips so yeah <laughs> yeah no it sounds great for sure thank you um i was gonna say what was it where was it looking here um what are your as a, as a as a group what are your what are your goals going forward that's a that's um yeah, I mean, uh, we're currently um, kind of like trying to record a small demo EP um, to start sending out to a couple labels, um, and then mostly just tour. I think we've we've kind of like <laughs> almost like oversaturated <laughs> the Northern California scene, like mostly Sacramento. And we really want to. We played a show in uh, Reno. It was really like a lot of fun. And then I love the Bay Area. Um, I was. I, I lived in San Francisco for a little while and uh, Santa Cruz, and I was born in San Jose, and so I'd love to get down there and then also kind of do some more, more just more touring, like yeah. tour, tour, tour. I just want to get the hell out Europe. of, uh, yeah, Europe would be yeah, rad in Japan. Sick. Yeah, we had we had a, our fill-in drummer, because um, Lucas does a lot of tour managing for a lot of bands, and um, Matt K. Shrug has been, like, he's a legend in Sacramento and who's been really awesome enough to like help us out and he just got back from japan and we know some buddies in the band called dogs barking you should check them out they got back from japan so just want to tour i want to live in a, in, a, in a van like for the next year and a half yeah. like not forever but yeah. yeah i don't know what you guys <laughs> that's no, that's, that's my it. big goal is yeah. just touring i mean i get a chance to tour with some other bands and so i have a little bit of like insight on what it's like to be in a van with the same people for nine hours at a time and uh, I love it, so um, that's the big thing, I think. And, yeah, with the, the demos that we've been recording and wanting to move forward with that, like, just get as much music out as possible, um, you know, because some people would say we've got kind of a niche sound a little bit, um, but I feel like we, you know, try to incorporate a bunch of different genres and stuff, so we have a lot of, like, material in the works that we're trying to push, you know, so... Thank you for that. Um, like I say, uh, anything else you'd like to add that I, I didn't ask? Check us out <laughs> on Spotify. <laughs> um, we'll have some cool merch coming soon, hopefully. Mm -hmm. um, we're trying to work on some vinyl and because um, we have one, one album out already. And um, so, yeah, that's hopefully we're going to have some cool merch coming with that and this guy is like a genius when it comes to uh, like just all art stuff. So he does his own like designs and stuff. So we got some cool t-shirts and, and stuff like that coming. Um, yeah, that's my yeah. two cents. Anything else? I, uh, thank you so much to you guys. You guys are awesome. Yeah. Um, yeah. KDVS and all college radio in general is like a, it's like a really, really awesome, amazing thing that, um, 
people definitely need to support and donate to and just like try and keep the the spirit of it alive and if it weren't for you guys there wouldn't be like a lot of you know up and coming bands and stuff like that and really great shows so thanks again yeah, yeah. thank you yeah. yeah thank you guys so much <laughs> for coming down here i appreciate it yeah, absolutely yeah. do you want us to do a like a one more of those like yeah one one more like, station yeah. one more station ID. let's go let's for good measure yeah so uh, the, the snares. And it's like this. Say, the two words. Like hey guys, we're the snares, and you're listening to KDVS Davis. Thank you. Wow. Yeah. The only, yeah. The only only two <laughs> words you need to include in there is KDVS Davis. It's our our uh, call sign yeah. and all that. Okay. Uh, um, Let's just do one more. Like, one more all together. We'll, yeah, we'll be like a corny one. We're like we're the snares. Yeah. yeah. We're the snares, and then you say, and this is, and you're listening to KDVS. KDVS. What's the? It's ninety point ninety point three FM. Yeah. yeah. Ninety point, ninety point, no. ninety point three, 3 FM. FM. Ninety point one. Ready? Everyone. Noventa punto FM. <laughs> <laughs> oh my gosh. Oh my gosh. <laughs> <laughs> For all the Latinos out there, you know what I'm saying? Like, <laughs> <laughs> fuck. Anyways, all right. Let's just say we're the snares on three. Yeah. One, two, three. We're, we're the, the snares. snares. And you're listening to KDVS ninety point three FM. Uh, Davis. Oh fuck. Almost. Oh, almost. Oh, one more. Oh, one more KDVS, KDVS Davis. Davis. 90.3 FM. Yeah, we got okay. next time, guys. You got this. Right, I believe. One, One, two, three. We're the, the snares. snares. And you're listening to KDBS Davis 90.3 FM. One more time. Can you look at the camera? Yeah. Oh, <laughs> my gosh. Yeah, no, you got it. Ready? We're the snares. And you're listening to KDBS Davis 90.3 FM. Splendid. Thank you guys so much for coming. Thank you. Yeah. Appreciate it. You guys are amazing. Thank you. <laughs>